searching for training sites is dead. For Doomhammer. So I think I might keep this chain lightning. Where am I supposed to keep this? It's a lot of value. I already have it. <laughs> Zero percent win rate. I mean, uh, technically you have an infinite win rate. So, math-wise. Oh no, I didn't think about this. All right, I gotta start thinking about these Bloodseeker cards people are running. That's uh, very annoying. It's like very annoying. Big Priest time? Did maybe. Chad, I usually go on HS replay and I sort by highest win rate. My blood boils for war. Holy Paladin looks still pretty good. I might play some of that. Mine Rogue is crushing it. Okay, um, this is interesting. It seems pretty good. That just took out so much damage. Oh, Pyro Warrior is beyond dead. Nah, Chad, I realize I love the nerfs. I'm a huge fan. I think there's anything there should be more nerfs, you know? <clears throat> hmm. Wondering if uh, I get the, maybe I kind of want to get cookie down. Mutinous would normally cut, so I don't know. It's a weird one. How many more Murlocs do I have? Not many here. So I can't, yeah, I have to choose. So I'm going to get Cookie done. That's better. I want to leave board space. 
But this got three attacks, so I can get even more heal if it doesn't die. I'm gonna go mutinous next turn. Am I gonna die to this? I might. Ooh, okay. Blade Master's kind of sick here, right? Um. All right, see if they have 11 damage here with uh, and they have to play a spell they get the they get six from the hero power which is pretty darn good but like need seven damage for six mana Ooh, that's... they barely miss it right <clears throat> we win nice Still a positive stream. We can, we can be a little more negative, but uh, still mostly positive. I mean, I'm really positive, but I'm so positive that I'm okay with other people being negative, if that makes sense. So you guys are allowed to be negative. It's just me. I, I just can't help but feel just nothing but positivity, you know? Did you play some mine rogue? I don't know. I've played the. Uh, it'd probably be some easy ranks though, right? But. I want to save these. I have enough plays for the early game, I feel like. Oh, crap. That sucks. What do you want for the mulligan in this deck? Um, I'm thinking just low curve stuff like Sleepbreaker, Cookie the Cook, Wild Paw. Um, if you know they're a very board based deck, uh, Snowfall Guardian feels reasonable and schooling. Um, but I'm not completely sure on the mulligan yet. So we could play some Holy Paw. Holy Paw, I think, is going to be real good. Real good. Seriously, though. Right. This only I don't why I uh, forgot to go face. Uh this is really tough for them to deal with because they already use their Shadow of Devour. Could have a Blade Master here, but Oh, they have another one? Oh, that's so unlucky. That's rough. Well, I have I have a thousand okay, I legit have a thousand snowfall guardians here. Which is kind of crazy. Oh my god, Chad, this is actually so good. 
Chad, look at all my snowfall guardians. I have three snowfall guardians out of a car. And I think they're... Oh, clownfish. You definitely want clownfish. And I think if you have something like clownfish, you can keep stuff like, uh, like Bolner, but I haven't quite figured out all the nuances. Hmm. Okay. Taunter healing totem are good here. <clears throat> <laughs> All right, so we're going to have like Man, should we have like infinite snowfall guardians? There's no way they get a lethal here, right? Like with a one attack minion here. It's like no way, right? They don't even have enough board space to play enough uh to play enough nagas, right? They only play three nagas. And then I just freeze forever. Yeah. So if you have clownfish for um Let's see if they have zero drop, but like But yeah, they've used both the channel devourers, so it's tough for them to get enough health to kill me here, I think. Looks like a reasonable play to do, but yeah. Wait, what? Am I dead? Dude, no way. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, okay. It's not dead. It's not dead. It's not dead. Oh, wait. They conceded. it. <laughs> All right. They. Chat, they, they. I mean. Uh, they don't even know I have Snowfall Guardian in hand there. Am I right? Like, well, like, for all I they know, I could have an absolute garbage hand there. Missed the attack, yeah, but still. It was a, maybe it was a shame conceding. No brand, nope, no brand.
So they don't kill this off, but they do have pyro stuff, but like there is that danger I professionally freeze it, so I understand why they're trading here. Might be the right play actually. Yeah, I'm not really, I'm, I'm not convinced, but I'm not not convinced. Um, I mean, it feels like a reasonable deck. I'm just not convinced if it's like an OP deck, you know? Hmm, this is, uh... I just want to go piranhas here. Don't really like my other options here. I think we're getting wrecked here. Use double devour. Yeah, so how do I win here, Pocket Train? Because they use double devour. Like, I guess I, I just have to mutinous their, their pyro. Yeah, so I can draw, I mean, if I don't top deck, it's tough because just tempo wise, I'm not going to get there fast enough, you know? Hmm. So I could go Bulner draw three, but like doesn't really get me there. I think I have to I have to silence and draw and then hope I get a munis for next turn. I did not draw munis and I did not draw clownfish. This looks very bad. This looks very bad. Dude, I love it, Hess.
Oh, there's the Muninus. All right. Let's see if we eat a pyro. No. All right, I'm dead. Wait, wait, I could top deck a, I have to top deck a, a, a macaw, right? Top deck a macaw. This is, this is looking pretty grim. Dude, if we top deck a macaw, we could go bowling or macaw. Wait, why are they having trouble here? Do they not get enough draw or something? Hmm. I guess I also can go amalgam. Try to search for, uh, stuff. I don't know. Hmm. <clears throat> I also can go Bulner. Yeah. Bulner amalgam and try and, but it looks like, oh, this is interesting. Okay. Wait, I could freeze it. Maybe they haven't drawn the good stuff yet and I can do a freezy boy. Oh, here we go. All right, here we go. Wait, how many minions do they have left, even? Not many, right? What do I have to do this next anyway, so... Got the po- Okay, chat. Winnable? Winnable? <clears throat> Alright, what I- Such a skill, chat. My, my opponent congratulated me on my skill. Did you see that? <laughs> Ah, gotcha. ah, double top deck at the top deck. Witness the skill. Feels skill, man. I know, right? All right. Did you do it? Yeah. Well, we we played Mutinous, and then we top deck Vakad, and I went Boulder Vakad, and we won. And they don't have like a way to like remove our board because we had Sorella too. So, dude, feels good, man. Skill witnessed. I guess I go piranhas here. Okay, I have like kind of a ridiculous amount of piranhas. Does their deck have a way to deal with like 80 piranhas? I'm not sure it does. Like, do I just go all out on piranhas here? Because they can get like a ton of attack and start actually doing serious damage. I feel like that might be the play. You know? Like, they're going to do so much damage next turn. What a fine and fully intact. Ancient power. Wait, oh, they got a multi-strike? Oh, son of a gun shit. I'm fine, though. Ooh, we got some Bolner stuff on the menu for later. About to make a comeback. So let's think. What are what are, what are we going for here? Ooh, no. Uh, wait. Oh, they don't wait. Uh, the the tempo lady play actually just wrecks you in this deck because you like. And that is the okay. I regret using all my schoolings now. But they're kind of out of shit though, so I'm not sure how I feel here. 
Ooh, starfish. We'll just. Pl um, I'll I'll give them the uh, the whatever here. It's worth it to deny them doing. <laughs> it's the need for greed. Uh, give them damage here. Start. Do I start snowfall guardian chaining here? I think I might. Wait, I'm, oh god. It's a lot of damage incoming. How do I I think I have to I guess I could go um Bolner this Freezy Boy on her. That might be the right play. Taking any damn but like getting this down is the win condition, so it's tough. Um It's tough here. Okay. Just freeze again. Yeah, but caverns on six, not so much. Oh, I'm getting cursed. Do I lose to this? Maybe. I'm not sure I do. So I can kind of freeze their whole board. Um, it's a tough one if um, I think I want to go full free board freezy, and then just put as much stats on the board as possible here. Ooh, I think I look for elementals here. Because elementals could hit me. Um... Ooh, this can give me armor. Yeah, elementals could give me another snowfall guardian. Ooh, this is, it's actually like really annoying for them to do exactly one damage. <clears throat> All right, I don't have lethal though, so it's tough. <clears throat> His prison and I My dead. <laughs> uh, Chad, I, ha I have to hit. Uh, <laughs> All right, so I have to hit um, a taunt totem here. I lose, right? I guess I can freeze something first here. All right, taunt totem. Wait, taunt totem does it? No, no, taunt totem does do it. Let's see. Uh, this game. Dang. Actually, close there. First play mine room. Yeah. I mean, it's like they deleted all the fun stuff of the expansion and they act like it, they're doing it for us. They're doing it for some weird reason, you know? So it's, it is what it is. Like this expansion will be forgotten. It's sad.
What if I keep chain? Yep, nerfs have been live. Oh, a rogue. Surprisingly, nobody's playing Paladin. I feel like Paladin should be really good, but nobody's playing it. All right, I'd love to hit like a my Bolner here, but I could probably, or even a Macaw for just efficient tempo. Ooh, that's oh they're running this card. Interesting. Interesting. Hmm. Gee, this is real good. A breath of fresh air. Yeah, it's, I mean, some people. Uh, I mean, it, it's a thing of I don't. I don't think uh, I should have my collection, but it's it's whatever. Some people like it, so. What do I do here? My hands are actually so awkward. Actually, I think we go. Maybe just go double two drop. And don't play anything else. Actually, yeah. maybe I play the clownfish and just chill for a turn. That seems reasonable. Uh, so turn over if I go. Do I have a lot of Murlocs in my deck left? Not really. Two. So I think I might rather uh, get the rush on the uh, Mutanus here. Seems a little bit better. Seems pretty good so far. Yeah, it's uh, there's a there's a peasants a good card. When the meta is right for it, it wrecks. When ducks don't have a way to deal one damage, but Draws two cards, right? Might as well cycle to good cards. Uh. I can go scabs here. Scabs is pretty decent for them here. No glug. Keep your enemy. 
This is kind of annoying because they get another Krabatoa, which is actually really bad. Ooh, I lost a Macaw. That's such a huge loss. Such a huge loss, actually. I think we're losing this. But no, I have Brucon. Brucon's actually insane here. Then I can. I think I go take six face. I don't really need the two threes. Um, I'd rather get every uh, hit on the face I can here. You have no idea what, I'm what do they get from this? A Sharon detective. Not a lot, actually. It's not a lot at all. Okay. Okay, this is really good. This should be a win, I think. Maybe. Cause I just, uh, I just keep uh, freezing. I have two freezes. That should be very annoying for them. It's the crab. Crab's pretty good here, but not anything that crazy. And Yeah, they're pretty desperate here. They're pretty desperate. If this lives, we win. We go Macaw next turn. That's pretty good. Um, yeah, they're fishing. They're fishing for a high roll spell here. <clears throat> Cookie? No, it's a very good card. Cookie's a very good card. Compare this to Aldrachi Warblades. It's a 3-2 lifesteal with a body that gives you Aldrachi Warblades. It's only because it doesn't have Demon Hunter synergy uh, that it's not just ridiculously OP. Hmm. I don't know. I want to see if I can kill him next turn. So. Let's see if they can get out of this one. I can actually just clear their board with hero power and a bunch of stuff. Um. So they're just like it's very tough in the deal with this. They're fishing. We also have a uh, Snowfall Guardian top deck, which is one in six. That also would even more when it's the game that uh, they hit. They hit Murlocky boy. Uh, we lose here. Do we just miss plus two plus two? Yes, but by doing that, uh, we can attack with these minions next turn. You see that? So, and then we would we were not threatening lethal if we don't. Uh, so. <clears throat> They had rush or they unfreeze. Oh, is that how it works? I I did not uh, I did not realize that. That's good to know. 
Okay. I did not realize that. Okay, that's that's a good uh, interaction. Ah, okay. So then I did just miss plus two plus two. Okay. I, uh... Yo, yo, yo. Maybe all I'd never play shaman. Nah, I, dude, dude, I was one of the first people to play free shaman. So. Well, it's kind of like a bunch of just like, well, it's got Murloc synergy. Um, I, I don't, I, I'm not. This is. Like, it, this deck would, uh, kind of just benefits from the overall. Ooh, that's not good. Holy crap, that was, um... I could go schooling here and try and get it, but I think I just want to do this. Kind of feel like I'm about to get wrecked here. Like I'm just gonna get sold by double wig. Yeah. Like I do cookie here. <clears throat> I might be okay with overdrawing next turn. I'm not sure. So I could go like schooling next turn and then I also could get a, a four attack piranha here. So four, three, two, one. So four, two, three. And maybe I do that because I get the full clear then. And that's huge. Cause I might just be dead. Wow, they're just trading every time. Okay. Well, now I feel like I don't want to overdraw. Well, they could just OTK us in one turn, dude. That's that's how it can uh, we can get absolutely wrecked. Ooh. Sorry, I'd, uh, I'd rather have a top deck then, but maybe a uh, 6-1 Piranha might have been better than a top deck. Might have been better. But like Snowfall Guardian is better than the 6-1 Piranha, to be honest. So it's tough.
Ooh, that's a rough overdraw for them. Burn felt more consistent. It's too early. I just, uh, it's, I don't know what's good yet. So, um, really, it's a completely different meta. That's a lot of heal. Turn went pretty well. My hand is full. Who here can spell Zinajari? Anybody? Take me, take me. Ooh. That's such a good pickup. Makes my life much more difficult, chat. Ooh, but they're doing nothing here. Okay. Good for us, right? Mm, I want to get another one of these down. I could have not traded that off, or I could have used my, uh, not sure what was best there, but, uh, Should I overdraw? Like, they're overdrawing here. <laughs> so it's a weird one because I can, like, help them not overdraw. But I get the big boy. If I go Bulner Gorlock here, I draw one minion, right? <laughs> no, I draw two minions. And then I can uh, do an amalgam play. Might be worth it. Mut Mutanus might not be. Uh... Yeah, Mutanus is going to be so expensive. Nom nom while I can. Oh, I could hit. Oh yeah, I guess it's like okay, it's it's a playable play. So, 
All right, well, Nom Nom here. Well, like, they overdraw, so we only effectively take one card out of their hand with this play, but we get a lot of stats, and they use their Freezy Boy, so... And now we have a nice Bolner on board here. So... I think it makes things tough for them. Yeah, that might have been better. I'm not sure. No hand sings. Yeah, I mean... Yeah, and they had double wig. I don't know how we're winning this, to be honest. Uh, I guess Piranha's OP. Oh, they don't have any spells left in their deck. They just wasted two mana. Uh, they're, they're dang, I lose my Bolner. Um, Wait, aren't they just the loot? Like, wait, how do they win here, chat? Can someone explain how I'm ever losing here? I'm not really sure. Well, I guess I'm gonna go Macaw here. Samaru Bless. I guess that makes sense. Hmm. I guess I might as well do the hero power here. It's not Marvel Snap. No, we were, it was uh... a <laughs> little. Do they know? Little do they. They have no idea. I mean, if they don't have Blade Master here, it doesn't matter, right? Yeah. So it's over here, right? I mean, but I guess, oh, okay, they have Blade Master. Okay. What's going on here? Okay, we're actually crushing it now. We're crushing it. Yeah, we here we are. Yeah, the, apparently the piranha, Piranhas actually might have been one of the sleepers of the set. Because I thought they were garbage too. That's the one everyone... Um, see, told you they run out of minions. Why did I keep Amalgam here? I don't even know. And why didn't I keep... Uh, <laughs> why didn't I keep Starfish? I don't know. Okay, well, if they're Boar Priest, I tempo Bor Bolner on two. And I potentially win the game if they don't... Uh, if they don't have an answer. That's interesting. No, I don't want to go Temple Bolner. I feel like it doesn't work. They just wait. How is it easy? At, so they didn't have a. I feel like they had a Murloc, so they could play, just bless and kill this. Uh, I don't have a clear. I don't know. Actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna go coin. Um, maybe I go coin Cookie here. That seems decent. I'm gonna do that. Oh, you're doing it, Peter. Oh, yeah, I know that one. <laughs> I, 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 lo I love that movie. Skull make thank you so much for the 15 months. You know, that's Cup Drain. Thank you, much, Skull make.
Bitcoin uh, clownfish amalgam seem like a good play. Why don't you take it? Because um, I can duplicate the clownfish effect for like infinite mana uh, later. So it's it's the higher tempo play long, t but uh, I want to be able to get the boner combo. The boner combo is just like a giant board in one card. You see that? Uh, I get with boner. I get like se like seven nine free mana. For that, I get four free mana. You know, so. Okay, you're, you're going to see next turn why I didn't do the play that you wanted. All right. <laughs> Who here can spell Zinjari? Anybody? Well, it's a good question. Um, and it's like, it's a... All right, I think I just do it. Ooh, let's take that one. I seem pretty good, chat. And that is why I didn't go uh, clownfish. Uh, to no, <laughs> chat. I do all this just to get wrecked by the blade master. I do the most brilliant play, chat. Why is chat? I this is this is against the the design philosophy of Blizzard. I'm supposed to feel good. That clearly was not feel good. Like, I, I don't think there's any debate for that, you know? Clearly not feel good. I don't know what's up with that. Ooh, denying a steely boy. Um, I feel like I'd rather have a random beast here than a murlucky boy, but... <laughs> like, I don't even have any Murlocs I can draw. Ooh, that's some, that's some, uh... <laughs> I mean, chat, I, I, I really like that design choice there of getting my board removed. I think it, I, but I, I have to say, if that were, if, if my opponent did that, but only did four damage to, and to minions and did it to all minions instead of just mine while not developing and maybe getting a little bit of armor, I, I would have a problem with that. Does that make sense? Am I dead? Ooh, Snowfall Guardian Tactics is the nuts here. Um, this is a tough one. Of I think I just play the Snowfall Guardian here because of the risk. Like if I don't have lethal, is too much. And if I hit him like another Macaw, I win anyways. All right. So I'm just gonna do this. So I'm one off lethal. I could discover it from this. Um, I could top deck it. There's a lot of things that could go down. Oh, I got silenced. Uh, that sucks. Maybe I should have hit face. Okay, I, maybe I should have hit face. Uh, that really sucks, actually, chat. Oh, chat, witness the skill. All right, well. Now I really wish I had, uh. All right, um. 
You know, this time I change my mind. I'm just <coughs> do what I should have done the previous turn. I think we got him. Okay, we're crushing it, chat. We're crushing it with his deck. Nine and six. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The advantage is... So, if I... If, let's say... So, one is, like, I have Scorpion there. I could get a buff. Like, a, like the Bloodlust. Um, two, um, let's say I don't have Lethal there. Let's say I don't have Lethal there. Well, what can I do now? I can trade. I can trade off their minions and freeze their board. Where if I go all face, I have to have lethal. You see that? So I give myself flexibility, but you could see the clear punish is shard. Where if I'd gone all face, shard would not have worked. <clears throat> yeah. Thank you, purple. You get tired of this? Uh, no. Big Spell Mage sounds terrible. Um, it doesn't sound... There are other decks. I'd probably p p go play more Warlock. I might go play the uh, the Wig Priest. Wig Priest is fun. Um, yeah. Their hand's pretty good, right? Twenty and five? Yeah, I don't know. I kind of want a flame tongue totem here more than I want a murloc. I feel a flame tongue totem is really useful for getting optimal trades. <coughs> Ooh, that's annoying. So now I can't go with this. Cost three, they, they buffed it again, back to two. Hmm. Hate my place here. Okay, let's do this. So I can do schooling plus flame tongue to do some real work. If I draw Bolner, I can do some pop offs, which would be nice. But I don't have Bolner right now. Oh, there's Bolner. If I go Bolner, I kind of feel like I want more mana, but wait, I can go Bolner. 
the school fish. I feel like I wait one more turn to do this. I didn't do the full calculation chat, so. <clears throat> so we can go boner clownfish then we get a one mana gold verger uh and then we hopefully hit some amalgams here and then we just get like a crazy pop off. It's the idea at least. Everything else feels too slow. Wait, 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 is the mutant... Wait, I guess I have to do... Um... No, no, I do the mutanus first. It's the correct order. I mean, I still just lose the Snowfall Guardian now, probably, but it looks like no Snowfall Guardian. Mm -mm. Unfortunate. Man, we've drawn like uh, all our Murlocs, like, but somehow they have way more value than us, which is uh, weird. We were, well, we're both kind of out of value now. Mm -hmm. Draw three is huge here. I'm not sure where my play is supposed to be. Like, I don't really want to use this chain lightning. I think I'm going to use this, even though, because I could hit a... Oh, the Snowfall Guardian is probably coming, but I have I have um, Smothering. So we could get a lethal if they... Um... Interesting, Miranda. Yeah, Piranhas are... Uh...
I don't really feel good about um, playing these. I don't really feel good about like star fishing or using chain lightning. I want to get face damage in. So. Wait, did you know all clownfish are born male when the female in the group dies? I did not know that city builder. But, uh... I did watch Jurassic Park. So... That sounds like the plot of Jurassic Park, but for real. <laughs> Wait, they're trying to eat all my piranhas here? It's kind of hilarious. That's annoying. This is more important to kill, I think. Let's see what happens here. Ah, unfortunate. What does McCall get me? Oh, it gets me uh Freezy Boy. I think I take it. I need to just Kind of a desperation play there. Snowfall wins the game for us, not necessarily, um, but it gets pretty close. Or her actually just so close to winning even right now. All right. Um, I think we're in a good position here. Ah, they keep freezing. But I don't know, I could just go smothering. Win the game. <clears throat> yeah, I mean... And then they'll nerf it, and then... Maybe in like uh, four months, uh... The, the game revolves around good cards. Play, players play to win. Um, even the meme streamers wouldn't complain about all the other players playing to win if they didn't play to win. Everybody plays to win. Uh, people who say they don't play to win aren't the ones complaining uh, because they'll say, oh, this is just unfun. And why is it unfun? Because it efficiently kills them. Everybody plays to win. People will play the best cards. Uh, if a deck does not have good cards, it does not, like, people don't play it, you know? 
Everyone. Players complain about the high tier decks because they're saying my good deck, my bad deck doesn't beat this, and I don't like that. You know, so. Never cared about rank. Well, rank and winning are two different things, Maddie. So do you care about winning? Yeah. That's true. Well, but yeah, so... I like those chemicals in my radar. Oh, yeah, yeah. Because. Everybody's playing to win. There's some people who don't play to win. But, um. Well, there's people who play to win. At the high ranks, and there are people who just want to crush, crush the the noobs. So if you're like a meme streamer, what you, what you really want to do is you want to play at a really low rank, so you can play a really bad strategy, but absolutely crush it because players aren't good enough to punish you. So. I mean, everybody wins with every deck they play. Uh, for the most part, because you can win with uh, this isn't chess where it's super even to start uh, because of the RNG factor, a suboptimal decks can win. And that's that's a good thing. Uh, so. Well, so uh, your rank will go up, Maddie, um, when you win. So if you're playing, if you play bad decks long enough, eventually you'll have a round of the average. Remember, the average player is going to have a fifty percent win rate. That's just the reality. Uh, only a very, very small, uh, small percentage of players will have a positive win rate. The average player has a fifty percent win rate. What does that mean? If you want to if you want to win with bad decks, you just keep playing the bad decks until your rank is so bad that uh that you can win with anything. Hmm. Hero Power Mage, yeah. Power <laughs> Power Mage. So, well, so <laughs> I, I know my, my brother likes playing Battlegrounds, but he hates playing against the tryhards. So he'll just, win rate's like 55% pocket train. Oh, no, my younger one. They'll play Battlegrounds, just do meme strategies, always go for first place. Yeah, it's... <laughs> it's. I, I have to remember that, that because, like, you see people with ridiculous win rates, and then I have to remember, like, okay, Pocket Train is, like, rank two legend and rank one legend all the time, and he has a 50. So if I just maintain a 55% win rate against elite players, I'm an elite player. Like, I don't need to have a 60% win rate. Like that's called small sample size. It's good for your perspective, you know? So, um, this, what do I do here? Uh, do I just play this again? I think I just play this again. Gee, I think I'm gonna overtrade here. I'm afraid of getting Snowfall Guardian here and I don't really have a good play to respond. I don't know, that might've been dumb. <clears throat> I 
I, I, I like BGs sometimes. BGs I find I really like playing for like an hour. I play it for an hour, I have a great time. Then if I play it more, I start to hate it. But for that hour, it's a, it's a solid time. I'm like, a, yeah, so I, I, I can't, I couldn't play BGs for eight hours. It's too, uh, it's too playing against yourself. I like the interactivity of standard. I know there are, there are things you can do, but it's too much about efficiency in BGs and not about, uh, uh yeah, efficiency is the chief value in her in BGs in my opinion. So. <clears throat> <laughs> I think I have to, uh, I have to do this here. um wait what was the last the was the last uh thing i played clownfish uh i don't know so let's just Yeah, yeah, I've actually noticed, um, uh, I've actually never gone rank one with any of my decks. I've gone rank two with like all of my best decks, but I've never gone, uh, I never went rank one with Enrage Warrior. I got ranked, I was like rank two for a long time. Jay was number one. I couldn't take it from him. I, uh, I got rank two with Galakron Warlock and I got rank, uh, two with, uh, with Handlock. Uh, but yeah, I never got rank one with it. What else did I get? Uh, what are my other decks? I got rank three legend with wounded warrior. Um, <clears throat> I don't know what I got with the, um, with the, uh, but yeah. Well, I got I got rank one legend with free shaman on day one. That's like that kind of counts. I don't know. Does that count, chat? Does that count? Rank one legend with the uh, free shaman, or like with a BG? I, All right, rank one. All right. Mm. No more minions? Okay, there we go. All right, I think I have... Do, Chad, do I kill the Bulner? I probably kill the Bulner. Um, trade, 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 I guess. Oh, wait, I have a, I can use a 1-1 one, one Piranha. That's actually very useful. Because then I can get another, uh, another value trade in. Trade. <clears throat> yeah so but yeah i've actually feel like now that i'm like a a big streamer it's actually harder to make decks because people will like will immediately start like asking me about my deck choices and i almost like when you're kind of a nobody 
it's easier to just play around and experiment like because the people will be like what's this what's this card is this good is this the next meta breaker the moment it's it's, it's kind of good people start copying off it part of the reason i was able to, to create my uh handlock in united stormwind uh was everyone was playing the d6 warlock so i was able to just kind of uh mr big streamer indeed giant streamer humongous streamer <laughs> A good top deck. Yeah. But I, I, so yeah. Oh, uh, oh, I got number one legend with, um, I got number one legend with, uh, Q Priest as well. Ooh, that's annoying. I think I'd rather, um... Wait, Chad, I hope this works the way I'm hoping it works. And I don't just lose here. Okay, good. Whew! That's scary. Oh, Chad, if they if they'd pick spells, they just five-headed me, which would've been fun. No, they have to... If they draw their own Snowfall Guardian... What?! Oh, you lucky dog, Top. That was the one out. That was the one effing out that kept him in the game, chat. Oh my god. Okay, chat. Did I complain? Witness the skill. <laughs> uh, chat, with, okay. Here's timeless truth. When my opponent plays Snowfall Guardian, it's a bunch of bullcrap. When I play Snowfall Guardian, it's because I'm good. It's just that simple. <laughs> Can't have a defense. Dirty high roller. <laughs> I know. I know, right? <laughs> Chad, it's crazy how much your skill could fluctuate in a single game. Yeah, this extra deck. I stole this list from Pocket Train. He was key. Dude, you got ranked two legend with it today, right? Did That's from Fino. Oh, okay. I stole it from you. Dude, this is why, like, I don't think Boar Priest is actually a good deck. Because Pocket Train plays Boar Priest like a thousand hours a day. He's incredibly good at it. Then he goes and plays Control Shaman for one day and gets ranked to Legend with no experience. You know? Like, <laughs> like he has to play a thousand hours a day on Boar Priest. You know, it thinks it's favorite against everything. <laughs> Ghost plays uh, Shaman one time, absolutely crushes it, you know? He is a you okay, Maddie. <laughs> no one would bring that up. Well, I think, like, so... Dude, Vorpris has become more, it's like, it's like almost its own religion in a way, you know? Hmm. Actually, I keep, I keep this to beat Lady Stenos. Lady Stenos wrecks you so hard in this matchup. Ooh, we got the Gwell. Wait, it's better than Mizaki Mage? I thought Mizaki Mage was the, uh... Okay.
Like I, I, I'm not convinced these decks are, are good. I think they're to your play style, so you just enjoy playing them a lot, so you get them really good at them, uh, and then they feel good because you you have such a skill advantage in them. Okay, chat. I'm never sure what to do in this spot. Oh, like now I feel like I just freeze and like wait to Snowfall Guardian and then win the game. You know? I just go freeze, I go Hero Power, then I go coin Snowfall Guardian into Macaw. Like they're gonna freaking. You know? I wonder. They they might recognize what I'm doing, but All right, this is the most obvious play ever. What a find and fully intact. Strike now, ancient power. All right, let's see if this play works. Don't let them trade anything off. Just gotta... What do you guys think about this play? Uh, I think I'm right dead. This play might have been dumb. Chad, what do you think about this play? <laughs> All right, this play did not work out. It seemed good, but until I was dead. I think it was good. <laughs> That's that I, I couldn't agree more, Elestrial. <laughs> it's a really good play for the opponent. Look, look, look. My okay. Her stone is about feeling good. My opponent is a human being. I want them to feel good because I want to share the love. So I was just being a good person there, all right? Ch he says, Ch I'm, I'm, I'm amazed how like often I, I think of like some of these like streamers who have a higher rank than me, they might have a higher rank than me, but I'm just a, like a more like a better person. Cause I'm like making these mistakes to help people, you know? Yeah. I, I don't think they like real, like. They have no, they, I think they had no idea that the, this was going to be so, uh, that people were going to be so pissed. I think they just had like thought because so much of the community has a nerf everything at all costs mindset. They didn't know so many of the people in the community actually like playing with their cards. Um, cause I, I think they, they seem to like, just like, oh yeah, I'll, we'll tell them that we just, we're just feeling it out. Cause they didn't think people were going to be like, wait, so you just nerfed my favorite card because of, you know, feels like what the heck, you know? I actually don't want to kill the trogs because I can like fill up the board with trogs at some point. Thought the nurse for 
Yeah. I mean, I agree. I think the nerfs, like, um, so the Warriors have had it too good for too long. Uh, Rogues have had, like, a whole, had a whole month without having a good deck after a whole year, and that was too long. So it's really good that Mine Rogue is back on top. So how did I just win there? <laughs> Dude, that might, that might be a pocket trade. <laughs> but yeah. Chat, I, I'm, I'm going to figure out like how big of the uh, a streamer game... I, I might switch to... A, I don't know. I might switch to a full-time Diablo Immortal streamer. Uh, after these nerfs. I'm not sure. Yeah, I mean, the, their games are sometimes really, really fun. Like, they have a good model for Hearthstone, and but it's when... And this is... I was watching on the, the Diablo Immortal video. When their, their primary mission is make good games that are fun. Money comes, like... And when making money makes sense for making good games, that's great. But we don't compromise the gameplay to make money. Like... You know, like when we always, the gameplay comes first. That was one of the primary missions of Blizzard. Um, like, so if you're going to charge a lot of money, like, cause like, do you guys remember how expensive Warcraft 3 was? I didn't play it at first because it was like a hundred dollars. And this was like, not in 2022 dollars. This was like $2,007. It was really freaking expensive. Um, and so I didn't play it. But then I finally ended up playing it. It, it. It was one of the the most the best games of my life. Uh, I loved that game so much. I've played um, I played Warcraft three more than any other game except Hearthstone because I play Hearthstone professionally. Um, so, like her, games have never been cheap. Uh, good games, like I think I mean there are games are actually probably cheaper now because you can play them free to play. But it's a thing of not compromising the gameplay. For financials, you know, so it's like, okay, like you don't intentionally make the game worse to force, like, so to make more money, you know, which is, yeah. Do I keep, uh, I'm going to keep chain lightning. Actually, let's just keep sleeper. Here. Well, I mean, yeah, so. So I mean, it, it can be a thing of like, Hearthstone is 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 pay to win technically, but it's there's a limit. Um, if you spend, if you spend, um, let's say you spend about three hundred dollars. Let's say you spend about like five four hundred dollars a year, which is a lot of money, a lot of freaking money. Now let's say you update update to two thousand dollars a year. You're not gonna get that much of an advantage, you know. So it's like, uh, but you know, so it's it's not really. But anyways, but yeah, so it's weird, but it is what it is. Yeah, so I I don't I don't I don't have uh, any problem with the Hearthstone model. I think it's a good model. Uh, it's just more when they nerf cards like that should not be nerfed. Then I'm like, okay, like this is a little iffy. Mm. I could hit Mutinous, like a really fast Mutinous with this play. I think I prefer that to Wild Paw, but... Mm. It can draw me a fast Mutinous. I'm not sure about this, though. Starcraft 3 um I don't know it's like it's after Warcraft 3 reforged uh Warcraft 3 reforged was very sad 
Um, very sad. Yeah. Yeah, I know they got in legal troubles, so. All right, comes to Zarella. What knowledge do the stars provide? Hmm. Ooh. Yeah. You like to play with fire? Is someone injured? Mm, this sucks. That is a lot of draw. If I high roll, if I, need a, if I need a pyro here, it's huge. That's huge. That's a huge eat chat. Because, like, now they're, I mean, it's card draw. And they still have a lot of cards they need to draw. Ooh, such a ruse rough here. But... Yeah, I can eat. We still have a chance to eat the boar, so that's uh, things could go well here. <laughs> what a good life is. You can go out on different days of the week than Friday. Some people, I, I've actually, I find like bars tend to be super crowded on Fridays. So I sometimes like prefer the, um... all right, let's see if I can eat something again. Oof, that's huge. It looks like a wind shot. Oh, if I'd gone this first, I could have done Volner. That was, uh, chat. That feels bad. But I think we win. Oh, it certainly could. Not, not. I mean, Diablo Immortal is in a different market than Path of Exile, so it's a mobile. Like it's a mobile game, and it's like, like it's 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 weird because it's like working off the success of a PC game, 
but it's a different market. So I think people will recognize that it's not the same, you know, so uh, different people. So I think it's the people who want Diablo to remain a PC game that are angry because because if it just it was just Diablo Immortal to begin with, you know, it probably wouldn't be the same. So. You silence the seventh board? Yeah, we could. But uh, I think we're in a good spot here. We, uh... Wait, they've used their Zarella. They've used both Pyros. This looks like an easy win here. So, play police Navidad. Uh, I'm gonna say no, Hakamada. Uh, no, no, no. We're not playing anything that could be uh, potentially copyright music today. So I'll refund your points. Sorry. I don't know if it is. I don't know, but I don't. I haven't bought the rights for it. So. Do they get there here? Not really, because I just kill them, right? They go one mana. They don't even have the mana to do it here. Looks like a win. Oh, they're dead, right? Okay. To 14 board. They have a leash. Oh, okay. But uh, yeah, I guess they have to. Oh, they get there. Let's see if they got there. Is someone injured? No, oh, Chad. I actually do win with the silence, the boar win condition. But I can also just get lethal. Seems easier. Alright. Chad, did we go get rank two legend and then I don't have to worry about my finish? Just get rank one. I, I'm rank 11 on NA. I bet that holds. You think I, I it's uh, 13 more days? Oh, no, I'm rank 12 on NA. I bet it holds. Um, but... I think I'm going to keep uh, win condition control. Eat your opponent's win condition. That's kind of it. Or snowfall guardian chain. All right, Chad, I feel like if I go Bulner on two, if they don't play a minion here. Yeah, they don't like, do they have good ways of dealing with a Bulner on two? I bet they're playing Habu's list. Let me go check out Habu's list. Ooh, they could go coin starfish, but like that's not that big a deal if they go coin starfish, right? Like on one minion.
I just I just went to his Twitter, so Ooh, that's so annoying for them, right? So far, they have not been playing Habu's list. Yeah, they're running Wildfires, so... Probably means they're running... You know, actually, I think I trade to play around the 4-drop, so we'll go Wild Paw and then trade. Wait, I had another mana that I didn't realize there. That was... Uh, I thought I had less mana there. I didn't see I had... Impalvidus! They go for the Prime Gaming. Get on that stuff, Drang. Thanks so much. Impavidus. They're running a lot of weird cards over there. Okay. I get wrecked by so many things here. Dang. I think I'm losing this really badly. Like, they just are controlling my board so well, and I don't really have a way to finish them. Oh, they're not gonna kill this, okay. Oh, that right, they got flurry. Ooh, this is good. Nice. So we can just scam with the uh, uh, firing vacations. And then maybe like a frostbite for the lethal because we're probably but that's like takes a long time but if they give us a long time we might be able to win that way mm. 
Maybe not. Maybe not. There's a lot of armor. Mr. J Huang123. Thank you so much for the raid. Welcome, everybody. <laughs> we are playing uh, some control shaman. I'm looking for uh, the Bolner scams, but I already used my Bolner, so. Um. Is Tempo King Shaman? I don't think we're gonna win with Tempo, so I'm, I'm gonna go for some mutinous scams. That's what I'm going for here. Wait, this is a card? Wait, wait, what? Hey Jack, let's check out what the card that uh, they made fun. Let me let me, let me see. Guys <laughs> falling in love. <laughs> Wait, what? Alright, this is annoying. Um... Here, I'll play one more minion here. Hmm. Ooh, that could be some extra damage, maybe. My favorite band, uh, probably Caravan Palace. Uh, then my my favorite bands growing up were like Muse and um, The Strokes. Um, but I, I I don't like I don't really listen to them anymore. The but uh. Oh, I, I, I did really like Maroon 5. Maroon 5 is good. A good band. I liked Guster a lot back in the day, but I don't know. That kind of music, uh, I don't I don't enjoy it like I used to. But yeah. I have two death. Yeah, they're good. Oh, dude. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, okay. I feel like I'm getting wrecked here. I don't know. What do I do here? This is like a counter spell waiting to happen. I'm pretty sure I'm like a goner here. Ooh, I eat their Mordrish. That counts for something. Wait, it's probably a counter spell, so let's, let's do this. Like, 
so likely to be counterspell here. Uh, hating Mordris was a nice touch. They've used both their recklesses, so this is actually so annoying if they're you're them, right? And I can do a whole nother eating feeding feeding frenzy over here, chat. Ooh. Am I gonna die? Oh they're chat, they're yoloing it? Chat, this is okay. Ooh, not the dude, not the flurries. Alright, hit hit the frozen two three. Nice. Ooh, that's not good. Wait, they don't have enough mana to ping this turn though. Okay. Stay where you are. Pretty sure I get wrecked here. Yeah. Hmm. This is kind of good for me, right? Do I rather get the card draw here? I don't even have a win condition in my deck, to be honest here. So I can take one, two, three. That seems a little bit better. The ice bear? No, it is uh, this one. That is unfortunate. I can go another mutinous, right? Let's do that. Hmm, treasure guard. Is there a beast? Um, uh, I don't know. I don't think so. I mean, the pro yeah, the problem is we're never killing them. We don't have like a, and they just do seven damage. We have to like, I get we need like a a heal card to have a chance here. Oh, they have their ignite. They have infinite ignites actually, so we can't even win in fatigue. So I don't think we can win. I probably could easily give up here. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna give up chat. This is over. I need to go to the bathroom. Wait, they're they're wait. As as someone once told me, he trades question mark. Alright, but I do need uh, I need to go to the bathroom. It's over. Should we play Fireheart? Uh, Fireheart rotated. Uh, well, these are people playing in open cups, so I probably shouldn't spectate them. Let's go to America and I'll find someone to spectate. And I need to take like a, a break. I mean, if you can figure out a way to do it, but it might be considered a bug, so. Pull up a chair.
Rank 12 legend, let's go. Ooh. I wonder if the bandit gets affected at the bandit. He's been he's been crushing it on the ladder lately. Uh, searching for an opponent's ticket. Okay, here we go, here we go. In casual standard, okay, I'm not spectating that. We'll spectate impact. Yeah, yeah, but I'm not spectating casual. Impact will be. I can't play on the ladder? Wait, why not? Are you going for a finish? Conditioning warrior? Oh, okay. I see. I see what you're. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. I'll be back, chat. Bathroom break.
Alright. Daddy, thank you for the Prime Gaming. Alright. Get on, Sutra. Thanks so much, Daddy. Alright. All right, we'll go back to Asia. Shane, I missed your sub as well. One second. Get on the sub train. Thank you so much, Shane. Sometimes you, sometimes you gotta go, you know. <laughs> men in history, op. <coughs> Probably least favorite men in history is United and Stormwind. Um, at the end, it got uh. Uh, United Stormwind after the first nerf, uh, uh, probably worst meta ever. The first, the beginning of the week, it was it was novel and it was okay, but yeah, it was so bad. Um, if I wasn't a professional, I would have stopped playing. It was it was so bad. I mean, the, the prob probably the people who like United Storm when would, are less likely to frequent my stream because I'm a person who hates it. Uh, I mean, a lot of people actually really liked it, but uh, I hated it so much. I don't know. So. Yeah, Storm was a close one. The only time I leave your stream is you keep saying ancient power over and over again. Dude, look, ancient power isn't for everyone. Ancient power. <laughs> dude, dude, you're just gonna. I, ironically, you might make me do it by breaking it up. <laughs> That's sort of an irony there, right? Uh, uh, chat like there's certain things 
So, if somebody doesn't like me, and I don't know why, it's, it's, it's a weird feeling. But if somebody doesn't like me for something that's so true to who I am, like ancient power is at like the core of my being, I can accept it, you know? Like, you're not supposed to be liked. It's, it's when it's like, oh, I thought somebody didn't like me because they thought I was a bad person, like fundamentally, but it was just because they didn't like ancient power, you know? Ooh, that's such a good tab deck. <laughs> I say major power discussion for date three. I see what you're saying. <laughs> no, no, I get chat. I, I start ancient empowering on date number one. All right. Why am I going to go to date number three? Uh, you know, if she can't handle some ancient power, you know? Well, it's the last spell I played, uh, well, maybe I can only just go for it. Maybe just draw three Murlocs here. That's probably the right play. I don't know. I feel like they're about to pop off. So, like, getting a random thing actually seems so annoying, but I, I don't know what I do with the rest of my mana then, so I think I, let's just do this. Drawing three cards is good. Uh, I didn't draw a Clownfish. What the heck? All right, I'm throwing lethal here. <laughs> Hilarious, the doctor. You, you can't, if <laughs> you can't handle me at my ancient power, then you don't deserve me at my ancient powerless. <laughs> oh, that's funny. See someone cute on the bus. Oh my god. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, like, so like, cause all right, let, let's, let's say somebody doesn't like me and it's cause I stank. Cause I like forgot to put on deodorant that day. Um, I would feel bad about that because that's not who, like who, something I consider who I am. And I'm kind of mad that, you know, I did that, but if that makes sense. But if somebody just doesn't like me because of ancient power, well, you, you win some and you lose some, you know? <laughs> you have no hands. Oh, that was a nice play by them. Okay. Hmm. I think I have to go silency boy here. And then I maybe go four piranhas here. That seems kind of good. So then I get a four attack piranha. That seems good. I haven't drawn Bulner either. Sorry. <laughs> I really did. I wasn't playing. <laughs> I know, right? Well, it's it's the Streisand principle of Blitz War. You you kind of brought it up, which <laughs> which turned <laughs> chat. The people love ancient power, right? <laughs> it's it it's yeah. It's just like the Streisand principle because you because you told me. That it just was all of a sudden fresh in my mind. And I'm like, oh, I love me some ancient power, you know?
Hmm. But I could rather get the Wild Paul Cavern here than uh, get the discounts. Oh shit, chat. That's not what I wanted to do. I misclicked. I misclicked hard. Son of a gun, that sucks. This is actually really nice. <laughs> Temperature hair chats are easy. <laughs> oh, thank you, Shane. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you enjoyed it. <clears throat> Shouldn't totem right? Maybe. I don't know. I kind of wanted just a bigger guy here. Anybody? We can go uh, like Macaw next turn, and then we could go like Feminist Scorpid that can get us through any minion pretty much. You should make it. I have ordered. We well, we're less likely to make it an emo blitz war, and more likely to make it one of the voice lines, like like Naga Siren or Get in My Belly. You know, so. Are they silencing this? Shadow over death. Ooh, that's rough. It's rough out there, Chad. Lola seems kind of good here. <clears throat> they could have a silence here, um, but I can just go Snowfall Guardian again for even more wrecking them. Dude, that it, Lyra's voice line is a good one. Yeah, that's one of the people, like, they're just great. Like, uh, they're really clever on the cards, you know? That is a silence. That's unfortunate. 
Probably still just go bloodlust here. Wait, no, no, no. If I go bloodlust, do I, I don't do it unless you have lethal, right? But bloodlust is super lethal though, right? Because I do, uh, I get, I have 15 and then I get, what, seven? Okay. Uh, I have, uh, okay, so what's uh, six times, six times three is 30. So 30 and then minus seven. Uh, 37, so that's not lethal. That's unfortunate. Okay. Are they buffing up this guy? Not really sure. Ooh, that'll be good next turn. <laughs> I can get another silence here, which is kind of annoying. Did they get another uh, one mana spell? Ah, oh, they did. It's so annoying. We still might have them here, but I haven't done the math. That is a lot of health chat. All right, let's see if we get there. Chet, you never count, right? Oh, it's awkward math here. Crap. Uh, I wasn't supposed to maybe trade the... Oh wait, I, I just have it though. I go trade, trade all these and then I go 18 face, right? Yeah. Oof. Yeah, trading with the one one was incorrect there for optimal damage, but we had more than optimal damage than lethal, so it worked out, but it could have not worked out. That would have been rough. That was an interesting game. <laughs> Dude, nice, Lavish. Dude, we got through a 33 health minion there. That's pretty impressive. Like, without silence. <laughs> Yeah, that was a that was a good game. I'm at rank twenty nine. We climbing, chat.
Ooh, that's rough. That's <laughs> rough. Maybe I just play this and like pull to Cookie's so good though. It's so good in this matchup. Ah, I'm gonna take the cookie. It's like it's a Reno against an aggro deck. I feel like I need to take Cookie there, you know? Mm. Well, maybe I, I don't know. Piercing shot's kind of annoying here. Ramming mouse actually really annoying here. It clears without. Wait. Got him. Uh, life steal is good. Check. 15 and 8. We climbing. Cookie carrying. All right. Will there always be... Uh, the meta incentivizes control. So they just move the goalpost. Um, people, people will feel okay about this tech. Give it three days, and then uh, everyone will be saying, how is Snowfall Guardian okay? And how Snowfall Guardian is an unplay fun play experience. And how Snowfall Guardian is uninteractive. And how they just need to nerf Snowfall Guardian. What's going to happen is then they'll nerf Snowfall Guardian. And then something else will come up. Maybe it's Quest Warlock. And it's like, how is uh, how is Entitled Customer okay? How is a six mana remove the board okay? How is this okay? Uh, this feels bad. Then they'll do that. Meanwhile, uh, the, the, your hard-earned dust and your loved, loved decks uh, are deleted. Um, he's always said that about Snowfall Guardian. Yeah, that's true. But now, yeah. So I've liked, I, I like Snowfall Guardian. I think it's a fun card. 
I actually, I actually don't even mind playing against it. I think it's a great card. I think it's great design. Uh, and I think people just uh, hate losing to me. <laughs> you know? Specifically to me. It's, it's... People, when they lose to Snowfall Guardian with other people, anti-board, I disagree. Um, look at that game where there, our, our, our priest opponent made a 34-34. We actually had the trade through a 34-34, and we had a long board battle, uh, which was interesting. Instead of what the other thing is, I remove the board and you redevelop. But you actually are able to get these really complex board states uh, because of Snowfall Guardian. So... <laughs> Very true. Very true, Darwin. <laughs> It's so fun. Some say the funnest. <laughs> Game must be fun of really broke it. Exactly, fit fan. Um uh Libra and Paladin did it in the previous metas. Leave him Paladin. You get a bunch of Divine Shield taunts. Um, yeah. And Warrior just shield shatters, and historically. Uh, so. I mean, Be Beast Druid was sucking despite the fact that no one was playing Snowfall Guardian. Beast Druid's the one deck that gets absolutely demolished by Snowfall Guardian. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, if you don't like cards that punish playing minions, what you get is, uh, I mean, you get uh what what decks don't punish playing minions very well i mean it's, it's kind of a uh it's an awkward uh distinction yeah i don't like cards chat hmm. i could go bulner on two here uh i'm not going to it would force out the triple thing, but like I don't, the payoff isn't even that good here. Is this list a better list than Bioshaman, in my opinion? Um, I'm crushing with this list. I've never crushed with Bioshaman. So, from my limited 25 game experience, I'm going to go with yes. But I don't really have much to back that up on other than like, eh, that seems like, eh, eh. So you decide if, eh, is a good enough reason, all right? Because it's a five mana Pyroblast. That's why you find it annoying with dredge. I'm oh, dude, they're denying. Shit, they ever met at me? I don't really want to. Is this even a good decision? No, I take this bad boy. Because if I honorable kill, wait. Okay, then I do this. And I double trade here. And then I can play this guy and kill this guy next turn. That actually works out so well. Then I don't have to waste my spells. Hmm. 
Oh, that's annoying. Ooh, they're playing around my Wind Fury. Chat, that's... Uh, Chat, I think they should just have Wind Fury, period. Call me crazy. But... Not having Wind Fury here feels bad, right? Oh, Chad, do I just full pop off here? Or do I go snowfall? Um, I can really pop off, but like full pop off. Do the snowfall later. All right, whatever. I think this makes the Munis go down to zero. Nope. Does not. I really wanted to hit like Amalgam there. My order sucked. Because I should have done this and then this, I think, but. They hadn't done that trade, we had won the game. Because they go freeze, and then we go freeze again, but they they did that trade. So, very good chance they win this game. See if I can eat one of their uh, their good things. Yeah. All right. Well, gotta hope they don't have it here. No starfish. I didn't think about this. Am I dead on board? Yep.
Did I just get wrecked here? Hmm. Oh, with the dead prison glaive, I get so wrecked here. Oh, that's so bad that they hit this. I'm so bad. I'm so dead here. Oh, they're running that card now. Interesting. If I hit Snowfall Guardian, I'd have a win condition here, but... Uh, I don't know what to do here. Like, I don't know how to win. Alright, I think I go... At least this is something. But I can't... Uh, I can go like a Freeze and a murloc -y boy, and then I try and get a bunch of Murlocs and freeze their face. They have to trade a lot of stuff in, but, and they can't really hit this without freezing their face, which they don't want to do. Um, Three, two. Dang it. It's actually so bad. I I think my out is here is play this. And um I don't even think I trade this off. Uh maybe I do now. Uh, I'll, tr I'll trade out this one actually. If they can trade that off anyway, so. So, one in uh, twenty, one in ten to top deck snowfall. The other nine out of ten. It's tough. It's very tough. Bell barrage here. Strike now. Mm. Is there an out I'm forgetting about? Like I can freeze their face here, but I still take eight. Taunt isn't good enough here. And all slugger would be really good here. It would actually be really good.
for your insolence for Doomhammer. Let's burn a little harder. Oh, this is bad. You have Dean under one of the best decks. Ooh, this macaw's good with with this is gonna be insane here. It's gonna be just so freaking annoying for them. And it can be two things here. Let's see if I got different ones or the same one. Oh, my deck tracker is blocking, so I can't see. I can't see which one it is. Counter the next minion. Both are minion, unfortunately. All right, Zola, so you can solo the cookies and the sluggers. That'd be... You run out of board space. That's actually the actual issue. It's tough because I'm like Low rolls. <sighs> That's such a low roll. Let's burn a little harder. Hey, we win.
Got it nutted for no reason. There was a reason, Shane. It just was a pretty crappy one. It's a, it's one that uh, you might feel. You know, it's a, it's a pretty. The reasons are either, I, the way I look at, it, the reason is either. The the best nicest way you could do it is Blizzard wants design space, so they want to delete Naga Mage, so that they can print things because certain things that they might play, get rid of the, the Naga Mage. That's the most nice interpretation. Where uh, so now if you bought Naga Mage, all your Naga Mage cards are kind of worthless. Uh, but the, the interpretation is in the next expansion. Naga Mage will completely ruin the uh, the entire make all the cards obsolete, and uh, they don't want that. Uh, so and they feel the Naga Mage will ruin the game next expansion. That is the nice interpretation. The incompetent interpretation is they just thought everybody hated Naga Mage, uh, and they decided to get rid of it. Um, and the the cynical one interpretation is they intentionally are nerfing these decks to force you to play other decks so you have to spend more money. You can decide which one of the three. It's probably the first one. So. It's probably they're just making design space, so. But I still don't like it. Uh, I don't think I can afford to play, dude. Uh, do I go for it, Chad? Do I go for the tempo? Wait, they could have played. Do I go for the tempo bolner and win the game if they don't have it, or do I wait till turn five? Chad, what do you think? This is this is what I realized. Mister Huang can really benefit from stream sniping. Because he can tempo this and look at their hand and say they have no null. Yeah, so, but they could go. They could go one man null hero power. So, always hunter. Yeah. They're thinking. Thinking is a good sign. Oh, they're playing this version. Oh, we're going to wreck this so hard, chat. We're going to wreck this so hard. Ooh, do I go Gorlack here or do I go... Or do I do Coin Mutinous here, Mutanus? Coin Mutanus can literally eat their, their bomb here. That seems insane, right? Yeah, it just eats their bomb. And then I think we just like... Well, yeah, we could go more Mutanus next turn. Yeah, I think we win here. I think we win pretty hard. Bombless bomber, okay. So our play to go tempo Bulner was absolutely probably right, knowing that they're bomb rogue, but we didn't know they're bomb rogue. Oh, oh, this is gonna be so feel so good, chat. And it's gonna it's gonna eat two minions here, and they have no way to curve it out. Chat ready for turn turn four lethal chat. <laughs> hey, they can concede now. I 
I, what's the point? This looks like a win, chat. It's hard to win without any bombs. Their sword can technically get some bomb hits, though. <laughs> Double dust. I know, right, Chris? All right, we're climbing hard. I only play Naga Mage. Um, I, uh, buy more cards. Or play Naga Priest. It's like Naga Mage, but less fun. <laughs> and actually more OP. So even before the... It's actually a phenomenal top deck. It's like in block minion here. Picks fell and V. Ooh, spell would have been five head, right? Cause then they, oh, you're right. You're right, chat. Because then when they play around it, they can't. And then I just won there. Ah, uh, dude. Your, dude, Fino was right. That would have been so five head. Okay, I can just um, silence on a future turn if I need to now and win.
Oh, it didn't pop up. All right. Well, thank you for the host master. Yeah, it's uh, looks like it's not working with the uh, current. Probably have to go uh, silency boy here. Yeah, it's too much to not go silency boy here. Yeah, I could free. Yeah, I think I need to go silency boy. Guess I could go two dam no two damage, but then I can't. Yeah, so. Hmm. Push all face, so they have to gain life to not die next turn. Seems very good. <laughs> Thank you, Ricardi. <laughs> oh, they did have it. We still might have the lethal here, but... Oh, you know what's an interesting way you can get more damage? You can go um, Totem uh, and then Amalgam and then get... Uh... Dude, we're annihilating today. Dad, <laughs> right? Uh... Chad, I think I'm going to take Sunday off of streaming. FYI. We'll stream again tomorrow, though. So, big stream tomorrow. Wake up. I'll go to the gym. 
Then we'll start up the stream, and then Sunday I got plans. I found something fun to do. I'm pretty excited. <laughs> my my father is uh not in town so I, I otherwise i would hang out with him i'll give him a phone call and then maybe i'll i'll i'll, uh, I'll, I'll give him a good deck list you know so dude my my dad was mad on the warrior nerfs dude Is Cookie a must be in this deck? Uh, dude, he's pretty good. Um, but I don't really know. Uh, he's if if it's an eight, not aggro meta, I'd say no. If it's an aggro meta, I'd say yes. Otherwise, you, the life steal is insane. So. Piranha opening hand against Demon Hunter, so so nutty. Dad plays Hurston. Yeah, I got him into it. Dude, he... He actually likes it. It's just like he's a boomer. It's just like his first game. And he... He likes it. But yeah. Dude, I'm on the phone with my mom today. But my dad's in the background. And like, my mom's complaining about something. But she kind of... She got... My parents like... Are, got flaked on. What do you guys think about this? My my parents got flaked on for a dinner where these people were supposed to get dinner with them, and they flaked on them. They were like, uh, "We're uh, we're too tired" or something. Uh, my mom was sad because she had planned on having a nice dinner with this other couple, and they flaked on her. And she was like, "This is bull crap." And I'm like, "Well, this is this is just how things are now. Like people flake on people all the time, you know." But she was really mad. Uh, what do you guys think? You know, it's like, what do you guys, like, I kind of was like, yeah, that sucks. Sucks getting flaked on. But it's kind of like, every, like, the amount of, you know, people flake on, it's all the time. Yeah. Like, if, if I didn't forgive people, at least moderately, for flaking on people, I would probably not have any friends. But, yeah. And my mom's, like, an intense person. Like, check check out me. Like, I'm an intense person. I got half my genetics from my mom. So she's an intense person. Like sometimes, like let's say you're wanting to hang out with no hands, but you're then you're like tired. You're like, because a uh, hang out with no hands is an intense thing, you know. So, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Ooh, is it ever arid stormer? That it could be like quite good next turn. Over like a slab. Yeah, I think it's Arid Stormer. It's actually like. I mean, I don't know what the degree. It's like, oh, sorry, we're too tired. Like, that's probably what happened. You know? I <laughs> got with no hands. Ooh, this kind of gets wrecked, to be honest, but it is what it is. Chad, they're, like, not even really playing minions. It's actually so annoying. You know what? I'm going to trade here once just to, to play around, like, Dead Prison Glaive nonsense. So it doesn't have five health and I take a million damage. A watery grave. Big boys. Super crazy. Oh, well, why does that sound cringe? Like, I live in the world of... I'm a, like, I'm a try-hard at my very core. All right? Like, 
it's like who I am, you know. I'm, I'm all, I always be try hard. Uh, but a lot of people have this like philosophy. I feel like that try harding is somehow makes you lame, which I don't believe at all. But I understand the world believes that. So, like anything that's like me not try harding at something means it's not important to me, which is fine. It's it's fine for things that, like it's a video game. It's totally cool for it to be your chill thing that you don't try hard. Dad could have heard Gary Casper. Dude, he's even better. I don't know, right? My dad's got a legend like multiple times. So, oh, this is bad. I'm probably losing here. Um, all right. Actually, let's no, no, let's just go. Uh, we just go coin. Uh, coin Brucon here. You teal damage to all. And I think I take. Do I take heal or taunt? I think I take heal. Um, they're clearly waiting to go multi-strike on me or some nonsense. So let's do heal. Ooh, excellent. We got another heal. The queen throne is forbidden. Yeah, that's true, Shane. Um, life is so much failure. It's so much failure and so much pain. It's tough. Like so much, like any, like uh, being good at anything is just messing. Like I, except for those exceptionally talented people, like I, I hate you. Uh, but for the rest of us, like it's just like messing up over and over and over again. You know, it's tough. It's tough out there, chat. Uh, Oh, this is actually so good. But yeah, I think, uh, yeah. But I even think, like, there are some people who are exceptionally talented and, like, early life, like a school, everything feels really easy. And then they get to adulthood and they realize, oh, stuff gets really hard, even if you're really smart, you know? Um, and then they have to learn how to try hard as an adult, you know? Um, where, uh... Hmm... my line here do I ever frostbite my own minion here so I can go hero power frostbite um, it's probably just wild paw hero power here keep it simple Hope they don't have it. Job done. I guess I could have gone here. No, I didn't have enough mana. Like you mean this? I'd rather get the hero power in here. Mac Turtle, thanks for the Prime Gaming. Get all that stuff. Trying to think as much Mac Turtle. Am I dead? That multi strike lethal. This looks pretty dead, chat. Amidst the flames. They, oh, they haven't. No, I'm, this is super dead. Alright. That's <laughs> sophisticated, there, Alex Enjoyer. Uh, it's, it might not be worth it at this point. Like, if you get it at the beginning, you get Finley. 
Uh, but Finley's not worthy worth anything anymore. Uh, with uh, from the depths getting nerfed. So. Chat, I just realized I'm 7 and 0 versus Priest. Holy crap, I did not realize my win rate against Priest was that uh, insane. Uh... <laughs> Who'd have know? Dude, it's true, Shane. Oh, Mech Paladin is so bad. It's so bad. Like, I was going to bring Mech Paladin to, like, last Masters Tour. I've sold this, like, 80 times, but... And then I, like, tested it with uh, Dreadeye and Monsanto. And they just utterly annihilated me with all favored matchups for me. Like, I was favored in every disc, and they annihilated me. Like, it was just embarrassing. Uh, it was really bad. Yeah. I was like, all right, I'm uh, not going to bring Magpalin. I will bring something else. But it like made so much sense to bring that I wanted to bring it, but like uh Chad, I think I just have to go starfish on three here. Like this is just too efficient to leave a let alive. Favorite TV series? Um, I just finished Attack on Titan and Anime World. What, what's my favorite TV series? Like, what, like, what TV series could I like? I rewatch? What do I actually watch? Oh, I like I like Game of Thrones. You just don't finish it, you know. You'll be happier knowing you didn't finish it. Um. What else? Did I, I like I like Breaking Bad. 
uh like it gets really good but i i had several uh um what what else is what else is good what have, what have i watched on netflix well i've watched like a bunch of nature series like uh go watch planet earth like if you haven't watched that oh it's phenomenal yeah go watch like planet earth with like anything with david attenborough narrates it i used to watch that stuff to fall asleep but it's great um Yeah, yeah, go watch Planet Earth, actually. That's phenomenal. Dude, and it's like nature. It's it's great, you know? Oh, that's game. Infinite Freezy Boys here. I haven't seen that one, Zig. The queen throws it forbidden. Oh. Oof, it's gonna be a big uh it's gonna be a big uh, naga board. Hey, oh that's fine. Um. Hmm. Why oh, kill this? Cause it's a taunt. It's not. Yeah, it's definitely. Wait, maybe I kill this too. That nah, way. I think I do kill this. This is dangerous. Wait, I can't actually kill this and this. Dang. Annoying. You, you want to kill that? Wait. Oh, this might have been wor not worth it because of Blade Master. I don't know. Um, I deny Blade Master, but like I didn't. I I don't get um. They can just do so many like buffs on this. These minions, but actually their board is so full, it's hard to do a lot of buffs. So, I don't know. Maybe it was, I'm not sure. Well, this is an easy win here, so. <laughs> no hands gamers, my. They call me No Hands Adam, bro. Did did I like did Dave and Adam will be like, and the, the puffer fist is trying to find a mate. He's dancing for the female, but the female uh, is very picky. We'll see if she, uh, but does she go for his dance, or does she not accept? <laughs> Ooh, uh, looks like she's not a believer. It's a rough time. It's rough for the for the pacifist. Hmm. Do I have a lethal here? I can go trade, trade, and then I get uh, five, right? Looks like I'm one off. Five plus six. Ooh, I could still do that line. Right, play this, and then I play both piranhas, and I clear this, and I put them down to one, and then I go snowfall. Kind of like that. Hopefully, I get the math right here, chat.
I could have killed this actually. That was probably better. I don't know. Come on, buddy. How do you use Bolner? Uh, the most powerful thing you can do with Bolner is you go Bolner Clownfish. Uh, then your 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 next Murloc you play costs three less, four less, and then the next Murloc you call it costs six less. So you go like Bolner Clownfish uh, into like a Malgam, uh, and then you can do a one mana Mutinous, which is really good. So, but you can use it with a lot of things. You can use it, but. Bolner, Brucon, Battlecry? I think you can. But um, but here's the thing. I don't think it duplicates for the minion. Let me let me look at the text, but I think Brucon must include yeah. You kinda need him. Like the, the, the hero cards basically if you don't have a hero card, you just lower your win rate of your deck by like two percent. Um which turns any deck, a tier one deck into a tier three deck. Um, and a tier two deck into like a tier crap deck, so yeah, it's the new hotness. Pocket Train got ranked two legend with it, Vino got top 10 legend with it. Uh, it's real good. I'm doing great with it, I'm climbing. Did you do the Twitch Rivals thing? No. <laughs> Another Priest win? Or maybe this will be finally the game we lose against Priest. I'm gonna keep Frostbite. It would wreck a 1-3. Like, really hard. If they go, like, 1-3 on 1 and I go Coin Frostbite on Chain Lightning, it seems like a good card. Like, look how annoying that is. They can't go the two mana spell now. Crush on its face under? Nice. Ooh, that's annoying. Using a lot of very valuable resources here. Uh, 
I should kill this. Leave one here. I wanted to play around the one mana spell. The one mana spell is such a punish if I don't trade there. Anybody? I think we can just do this again. Seems kind of good. Maybe I just do the. I'm gonna just take the wild paw. Getting the wild paw is long term. And their hand still sucks. Still no glug, is it? Anybody? Uh, debatable. Why do I want to play glug against a class that has a silence, or a class that has a snowfall guardian, or a class that has a dead prison glaive? How does that help me against those classes? I don't think it does. I think it hurts me. Just full clear. That's uh, that's true, dork. But but uh, fell barrage into just like a bunch of damage. I mean, you're getting glug on seven, so it's very very slow. You know what, I think I actually go this. Ooh. This is really good, right? Hexy boy. They could pull up a scam lethal here. They go two mana, they go one mana spell. They do a bunch of things. They silence. They do, like, it's possible here to scam lethal here. Ooh, Shadow Devour on a Frozen Minion. Ooh, Ooh this, this Hexy Boy is going to be so good, chat. Oh, it's going to be so enraging for them, too. Well, they're, they're clearly not stream sniping. These are, these are the spots where you're like, no way. Well, I know my opponent is not stream sniping. Concede in three, two. Uh, I did bad trades, honestly. Here, oh, it's fine. There we go. More mid range. Well, it's kind of every control decks play minions now. They don't just uh, uh, shaman kiss. So it doesn't really. Hmm.
Ooh, maybe I just take the Mutanus line over the... I think I like that better. Maybe I can Macaw it for big old discounts later. I know they have more minions in their hand, right? They might have a Blade Master Bless play they're going for, actually. It actually makes a lot of sense. But it doesn't really do anything. I just kill it, right? Mm, one off lethal. Yeah, uh, very, well, uh, very few, de like, if you look at, like, uh, Meaty even called Control Warrior Tempo Warrior, um, but this deck, like, uh, it's not as much, uh, you can play defense, you can play, like, uh, often it's controlling stuff by, like, freezing it, um, but very few decks, let's see if there's a, the most controlly, like just remove stuff and then get to a win condition is Boar Priest. Um, control decks need a win condition. Uh, they can't just remove your stuff because of uh, inevitability that's sort of built into Hearthstone now. So because of that, um, usually it's like slow value tempo. But this this deck against a really defensive deck like a uh, Ping Mage that has like lots of armor and lots of value uh kind of gets wrecked so same thing like this deck would get wrecked against warrior because you mutanus some of their good stuff but then they just play more stuff like i mutanus two of my uh, otk warriors minions so or they just weapon hit you down so it's like yeah so we don't yeah we we, we often control by like disruption with mutanuses so Each scar, a foe vanquished. Yeah, that's not the right code, uh, GX6. This is not the right code. Um, exclamation point deck will get you the right code. Um, there you go. Fine, handsomely intact. 
<laughs> that would be pretty good, actually. With chill face. I like it. Alright. Yeah. Yeah, Demon Hunter's been wrecking us. Uh, I mean, the meta is going to be more polarized. So when they nerf certain decks, but the deck still is two-toning, it makes the, the meta more polarized. So that means is uh, the decks you beat, you beat really badly. And the decks you lose to, you lose really badly. So we're 8-0 and versus Priest. And 1-7 and versus Demon Hunter. That's a great top deck. Ah, I hit the bad one, but whatever. I intentionally left the Battle Vanguard frozen so they can't trade it off. So that they fulfill up their board for Snowfall Guardian shenanigans. Add a spamming to this deck. I mean, don't think spamming is very good, but certainly would probably help this matchup. Well, we dead chat. <laughs> yeah, they just. Kind of need like schooling uh, to beat Demon Hunter. Oh, I think I'll keep the wind chill. Actually, I'm gonna keep Frostbite because it wrecks the one three. You you do it. They go one three. You go coin Frostbite, and then they're they're aft. So they can't play spells for like a year. Yeah, this is nice. Why oh, you look so sad? I don't know, dude. Because they nerfed mo they 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 deleted the game. All right? That's why. Uh, we got the good top deck for us. Each scar. Mm. Maybe I take schooling here. Or do I take the, the the wild like the wild paw cavern is so annoying though like getting that down I think is better more important here. 
because I'm never going to get the chance to play it if I don't play it now. And they're just going to redevelop, so I think I do this. And then they can't hit this, like, so it's really annoying for this. Um, It, uh, it's not your responsibility to uh, to stop playing a deck. Blizzard is supposed to design the game in a way that lots of decks can feel good to play. But ooh, that's rough. But I have a good answer for this here. Actually, a very good answer. We can just connect a wild Paul cavern to their face um, and they don't have a hero card here, but dude, they're going to win here just like that. They're predating my face. That's not a good sign. That looks like, like you don't do this order if you don't have lethal, right? Like, oh, they're going to fell barrage my guy. Okay. All right, I hope their last card is garbage here. Looks like it might be Jace, which we actually wreck Jace. If it's the seven mana demon, oof, it's not what I want to see. Could have gone Mutanus there if I knew what was in their hand. Playing Mutanus seemed reasonable, but I don't know what's in their hand, so it's tough. Brucon, very good chance wins next turn. Ugh. Doesn't clear this though, so I get the weapon hit on their face here, and I probably win here actually. Oh, I'm one mana short. Shoot, I didn't realize that. I still want to get the cast. So let's think. How do I win here? Oh God. So I take this out. I hit face. They have five on board. I lose. So I have to. Do I have to high roll hero power again? Ugh. Dude, every one of these games, I have to high roll hero power. Uh, sucks. Yeah. Taunt. That's a loss. <clears throat> Dude, this matchup's like impossible. All right. So it's seven and a half hours. I'm a little tired. Why doesn't Control Paladin? Uh, Control Paladin. I'm not sure if it uh beats it. So.